All right, guys, so in this video, uh, it talks about the uh, bell-shaped curve. So try this, you know, before you watch the video, get to the point where you can see the question and then just attempt it yourself. Uh, it's kind of a good practice. It's kind of a short video, so it shouldn't take you too, too long after you attempt it yourself. Uh, but this is really one of those questions, I think it's, uh, it, it's a good one. Uh, it's, it's definitely a fair game for step one, two, and three. And um, I think it's, it's, a good, it's a good learning point. Uh, and it includes standard deviations and such. So anyways, if you like the video, uh, make sure you hit subscribe. It, again, it does help. kind of gives me something to kind of track to see who's actually watching these things. Um, so hope you like the video. All right, guys. So it says, assuming normal <clears throat> Gaussian distribution, how many men would be expected to weigh less than 86 kilograms in the study? Okay, so, so far we know that we're talking about normal distribution. And any time that you see a, where it says normal distribution, I want you to think bell-shaped curve, okay? And that just means the population is kind of like it's just evenly dis distributed um, according to the bell shape. So <clears throat> it says a group of researchers are trying to determine whether an over-the-counter supplement impacts weight loss in men over the age of 50. A thousand men over the age of 50 are entered in the study. Okay, so n equals a thousand. The mean weight of enrolled is 82 kilograms with a standard deviation of four. Assuming normal distribution, how many men would be expected to weigh less than 86 kilograms in the study? All right, so in something like this, they're testing your knowledge of standard deviation. And again, the, the, when it says normal distribution, you gotta know it's just the bell-shaped curve, okay? so. As you know, they also tell you what the mean is, okay? The mean or the middle, okay? And just to, just to kind of review that, you know, you have the mean is the average, okay? So it's basically in a bell-shaped curve, it's gonna be dead center in the middle. Uh, the median, again, that's the, um, the absolute center. So again, in the middle on that one. And then the mode is gonna be uh, the most frequent Think of that, the most frequent number you see, okay? The most frequent number. So in this situation, <clears throat> everything's gonna be pretty much dead center. So the mean that they're telling us is 82 kilograms, okay? The question says, how many people would be expected to weigh less than 86? So somewhere over here, obviously, we're gonna put 86. We gotta figure out, well, how many people are less than 86 in this study of a men, of a study where there's n equals 1,000, there's 1,000 men. All right, so again, it comes down to, do you understand standard deviation? Now, what you have to have memorized is what? One standard deviation, 68%. Two standard deviations, 95%. Three standard deviations will contain 99.7% of <clears throat> the population. Now, a standard deviation, really all that means is, if here's the center, a standard deviation is how far from the center does, does it go, okay? And what it says is, if you go out one standard deviation in both directions, so in one standard deviation in this study is four, so if I go from 82 plus four, it would give me 86. 82 minus four is gonna give me 78. And so really what that says is between 78 and 86, I have how much, what percent? 68%, because one standard deviation should contain 68% of all the people, okay? 68% of all the people in this study should fall within this range. Well, <clears throat> I want to know how many are below 86. So really all I gotta do is, I know this is 68, I just gotta figure out how much this is, right? Well. Very simple. If this is 68, everything else has to, everything with that has to equal what? 100. So if I go 100%, basically, minus my 68, because that get, that takes me right to the edge, right there, now I'm left with what? I'm left with 32. Now what does that 32 represent? Does that represent just this? Well, it represents this and this side. All right, so we can't say just 32% plus 68. We gotta cut this guy in half. So divide by two, and that gives us 16%, right? Because this piece is 16%, and this piece over here was 16%, right? And this guy, in, remember, all this was 68. Now all that combined 
all that combined, 68 plus 32, would give you the complete 100. But the question here said, how much is below 86? Well, how much was below? Well, I got my 68 plus my 16, right? So 68 plus 16 gives me 84% of the population was below um, 86 kilograms. How many people were in the study? A thousand. So what's 84% of a thousand? 840. Okay. Be careful. They could change the, you know, the, the end could be something where you actually have to, you know, you might have to actually figure it out in math, mathematically 84% of say 2000 or some whatever number. This is just simple math. Now I think on the step, they're really testing your ability. Do you know standard deviation? And then do you know percents? And that's all they're going to do is either say, you know, either say down, up, or whatever. Now they could have said, uh, they could have changed this number to what? They could have said greater than 90 kilograms. Oh, then I would have went out one extra standard deviation here. I know that's 90. And how much is over here? Well, I know if, if one extra standard deviation is 95%, so 95% is here, then how much is on the outside? An extra 5%, but I got to cut that, divide it in two. So it'd be 2.5 and then 2.5. So if they would have said how much is greater than 90 kilograms, I'd say 2.5%, and then that's what, 22.5 is just gonna be, what, 25 people? It's 2.5% of 1,000, okay? So understand how to work this, this little line down here based on the standard deviation they're gonna give you, what's the mean, and then just figure out how they're gonna ask the question, okay? And then just be careful about running the percents according to whatever the N is in the study. So, hope this helps, guys. Mm -hmm.